Alright, hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat Chapter 1 in Color or Die. The way that I show in this video may not be the best, but it does work. Note, if you die, you'll have to restart, so be careful. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. You start off in a white room with a door that says click to open. If you click it a couple times, paint will splatter on the door and you will be able to proceed. First, you gather the red paint bucket. This will allow you to go through a red door and camouflage on the corresponding wall to hide from the monster. At the top of your screen, you can see that you will need 13 paint brushes. If you follow my route, you should get them all. If not, they are still easy to find. So first come over here, where you will find your first paintbrush. Then go back and go through this twisted hallway. Grab the paintbrush on the table and follow my lead. As you can see, the monster likes to hang around this area a lot. Go around here and enter the safe spot where you can grab another paintbrush. Now make sure the monster isn't around, and then follow where I go. Once you reach the red door, click it until it opens and go inside. Inside, you will find a screwdriver and a glass door that you cannot access yet. While you're over here, come over here and grab another paintbrush. Go back to the room you were in before, or the red room, and make sure the monster's not nearby, and then run towards the vent. You only need to click it once and it will open. Once you open it, you will see a door. Once you go through there, there will be an obby. It's really easy, so don't worry about it. Also, if you fall, it will teleport you back up to the start. Once you do the obby, you will find an orange paint bucket and another paintbrush. There is a teal door, but don't worry about that right now. Once you are back, you'll notice that you are now orange. That means you can now go against orange walls to hide yourself from the monster. It also means you now have to find an orange door. Just follow me and I will lead you right to it. Once you unlock the orange door, you will find a yellow paint bucket. Once you grab that, follow me to the yellow door. Once you unlock the yellow door, you will have to do another obby. This one's also pretty easy, it's just longer, so I'll speed up the video to the end of the obby. Once you get to the end, you will find a green paint bucket and another paintbrush. You will also see a door with a giant lock on it. You can worry about that later. For now, go through the other door. Now just follow my lead and avoid the monster. and you will find yourself at the green door. Once you enter, you will see a wall with a missing shape. Ignore it for now. Grab the teal paint bucket and the paintbrush. Now we're going to go this way and get another paintbrush. Once you get here, just go up the stairs, take a left, and there you go. And if you go over here, you will find another paintbrush. And then you will have to go back to the vent, and you can get there by following my lead.
Once you get to the vent, you have to do the obby again. Once you do that, you can open the teal door. And once you unlock the teal door, you will find a purple triangle and a paintbrush. Now you have to go back to the green door to place the triangle into the puzzle-shaped wall thingy. Once you do that, you will find a bucket of blue paint. Now in order to find the blue door, follow my lead. And in here, you will find a saw. In order to use the saw, you will have to go back to the yellow door. Now follow my lead again. Once you get here, use the saw to access the next area. Before you go through the door, make sure to pick up the plank laying next to the wall. And then just do a short little lobby. And lobby and you will get a purple paint bucket. And another paintbrush. Now go through the door and follow my lead. Once you reach the purple door, climb the ladder, and once you do that, go down here, then turn right into this little hallway so that you can get another paintbrush. Once you do that, go back and place the plank down. Once you do that, go across it and gra grab the sledgehammer. Once you grab the sledgehammer, you need to make your way back to into the red room. It would have been faster, but the monster got in my way, and I took the longer route. If the monster wasn't there, I could have gone through the middle instead of going around. Once you reach the red room, go to the glass wall and smash it. Once you get that, follow me. Once you unlock the pink door, you will get a key. Now you need to go back to the yellow room, so just follow me and you'll get there. Once you get there, you need to do the obby again. Once you do that, use the key to unlock the door. Then grab the final paintbrush and follow me. Once you go through this door, you need to walk quite a distance to get a white paint bucket and then walk all the way back to the door. Then you just need to go back to the start of the game. Once you do that, you can unlock the white door. Once you do that, you will see four doors. Each door has a different minigame inside of it, and if you die, you will not get the badge. Now, I'm not sure if the minigames are randomized because I've only gotten there four times, and I have repeated the same door twice. 
and it was a different mini game, so I'm not sure. But if you want to get the chapter one badge, you're going to have to survive the mini game. As I said, I don't know if it is randomized or not, and I'm too lazy to rebeat the game that many times. So good luck. If you survive the mini game, you will officially beat chapter one. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helps. Um, you beat chapter one. Uh, and yeah, goodbye.